Baby, I hate how I have to do this shit And I do the most just to get a fix And what I do is so selfish I can't even help it, I'm sorry Baby, I hate how I have to do this shit And I do the most just to get a fix But I swear this is the last time I'm coming home like this Baby, I hate how I have to do this shit And I do the most just to get a fix And what I do is so selfish I can't even help it, I'm sorry I'm just by myself but you right next to me I'm trapped in my thoughts but please don't rescue me Just the thought of the world got me so fucked up right now Little baby calling, I don't pick it up I'm texting her cause she know what the fuck is up My voice gets so throwed off when I pick up the dope Baby, I hate how I have to do this shit And I do the most just to get a fix And what I do is so selfish I can't even help it, I'm sorry Fuck. Baby, I hate how I have to do this shit I do the most just to get a fix But I swear this is the last time I'm coming home like this What's up? Alright, we're in focus, we're in focus Guys, the main motive has always been cash, money, you know? A lot of people say, I lift for aesthetics, I lift for not me personally, but like, you know, other bodybuilders and stuff, and other people at the gym, they say, oh, I lift for aesthetics, and I lift for health, and I lift for the women, you know, to get laid, this and that. And to me, that's just a waste of time, guys. To me, I lift for, how should I say, money, first and foremost. Um, people are going to respect you more if you're shredded. They're going to be more intimidated by you. It, um, emanates an alpha vibe first and foremost your testosterone raises um, that's just basic science and you know if you go into a job interview no matter where you go whether it's a female uh, giving you the interview or uh, a male uh, if you look good you're gonna get hired a lot easier you know what I'm saying because people like to look at good looking things it's, it's common sense it's the same reason why a lot of women won't date guys with like super shitty cars you know if you have a super shitty car like these chicks they're not gonna fucking dig you you know if you have a nice car you'll get women like this but like I said once again that's not the fucking main motive you know a lot of people get this shit confused they're like I'm gonna get a nice car I'm gonna get a nice body I'm gonna do all this for women at the end of the day it's not fucking worth it, guys. I'm telling you right now, it's not worth it. To me, I want to be rich. I want to be like Bill Gates rich, Donald Trump rich, you know. I'm not talking about just driving around, cruising around in a Mercedes Benz and just being, you know, just like a typical fucking rich guy you see every, every once in a while. I want to be, you know, my own private jet, my own fucking private hotel, everything, everything. I want to be fucking loaded with cash. And a lot of people say, well, oh, money's the root of all evil. Money's the root of all evil. Guys, let me tell you right quick. This shit right here is the source of all freedom and salvation in this physical plane. Okay? This is a resource. I could take this $20 bill and I could go to a strip club. I could take this $20 bill and I could buy booze. I could buy cigarettes. I could buy drugs. I could buy whatever the fuck I want. I could take this 20 and I could donate it to church. I could donate it to fucking, you know, some sort of disease research charity bullshit, you know? Point is, this gives you the freedom to do whatever the fuck you want without no restrictions. You go to the supermarket and you want food, you're, you're gonna need this to buy anything, buy stuff, you know, a lot of these people, you know, these hippies, oh, I could live without 
money, this and that, blah, blah, blah. What kind of life are you going to live? In a fucking cabin somewhere, not taking a shower and shit, or showering in a lake full of fucking tadpoles and slime and fucking slugs clinging onto your nutsack and shit, and eating fucking vegetables every day, all day, and, like, good luck trying to hunt your own fucking animals and skin them if you're, like, a fucking pansy like most of those people are. I'm a vegan. <laughs> and, and I only eat a plant-based diet. They're all so frail and so fucking scrawny, and it's like, fucking, just look at how people exist. And going back to the money example, you know, you have peasants, and some people say, oh, peasants were happy, they had love, they had family, they had this. Every single day of their life was fucking misery, no matter if they had this love or this, or whatever other bullshit you may claim. Whereas the kings... They were loving every second of their lives. They were sleeping on a comfortable bed. They had fucking maids. They had, you know, maids sucking their dick, you know, slapping their balls, whatever the fuck they wanted. At every whim, at every second, they wanted grapes, they had grapes. They wanted wine, they had wine. Peasants, you were lucky to get by, you know? So, resources. That's the main point. Resources. Whether it's land, whether it's gold, silver, whether it's fucking pebbles or rocks or clamshells or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Crops, whatever. You know, you look at birds, it's an animal kingdom too. Like, no bird's gonna stay in an area where there's no trees, where there's no resources. It can't build a nest, it can't find shelter, it can't find food. You know, what the fuck is it gonna do then? It's gonna move on, you know? And this is this holds true for the feminine nature as well. Like, if, if they're with a partner that doesn't have any money, because the man is supposed to be the main caretaker and the main caregiver, if they, you know sense a situation where the resource pool is drying out, they're gonna go to the more abundant resource pool, you know? But fuck them, you know? Like I said, fuck them. I don't need women, you know? I don't need friends. I don't need fucking anybody. I don't need anybody to fucking get in my path and to fucking disturb me. Just give me the cash, okay? Give me the cash, I'll have my mansion, I'll have my fucking Rolls Royce, and I don't even have to talk to any other human being ever again in my fucking life. You know, because that's the type of guy I am. You know, friends, they just give me fucking problems. You know, I talk all this bullshit. I don't want to talk. I don't want drama. You know, I'm a very straightforward person, you know. Um, this could be seen in, in Germanic culture. You know, if you go to Germany, a lot of people are straightforward. They don't like the small talk. They don't like the chit-chat. I'm very much like that, too. But I'm on a completely different other level. I like to avoid all human contact as much as humanly possible. I would like to buy my cigarettes from a vending machine because talking to the fucking cashier and telling you, oh, I want these, I want that, that alone just fucking boils my blood. I, it just, it's just so fucking infuriating. If I had the choice between buying cigarettes from a machine or buying cigarettes from a person, I'd take the machine every fucking time, you know? And the, and the whole sex bot thing is nearing guys and it's like, one hand, you know, I don't give a fuck too much about sex bots. I just want uh, prostitution, brothels, whatever, to be completely legalized in the United States. Or I'm just going to fucking move to somewhere where it's fucking already legal anyway. And live in fucking paradise. Because to me, that's all I fucking need. I need to fuck some bitches every now and then. Um, I relax, smoke cigars, you know, just chill out. I don't need fucking anybody else in my uh, uh, life and in my time. If, if I want a companion, if I want the companionship of a female, I like it, no bullshit, no strings attached. I pay her whatever the fuck it is, 50 bucks, 100 bucks. I get whatever I have to get done and get the fuck out of my presence. That's it. And then I'm alone again. And then I get to do whatever the fuck I want to do. You know? Peace, quiet, no yapping, no bullshit, no bullshit, no bullshit. So, sorry guys, this whole fucking, you know, I'm, I'm very in tune with the whole white genocide bullshit, whatever, whatever. I understand, but... At the end of the day, you gotta live your life, you know? What the fuck is, 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 what the fuck are my people gonna do for me, so to speak? Um, I'm gonna put my life on the line and not enjoy my life for the sake of, of, for example, my people. But in the end, they won't even piss on my fucking grave. Let's be honest, guys. You have kids, they're probably gonna put you in a nursing home, they're gonna intermarry. Um, you know, all this bullshit you have in your head, it's not really a realistic option. You know? They might visit your grave, they might not. But, first and foremost, even in 200, 300 years, all that shit will be gone anyway. So what the fuck does it matter to me what the fucking world is going to look like 300, from, 300 years from now? 
but I'm going to be fucking Dustin Burns, you know? Who gives a flying fuck, you know? So, to me, it's about enjoying the existence, hedonism, pleasure, whatever the fuck you want, a pursuit of freedom, pursuit of money, whatever makes you happy and whatever fulfills you in life. Um, because a lot of people fall trapped to these causes and these cults and all this stuff, and in the end, you're not getting anything out of that, you know? Let's say I had ten kids, even, right? Aryan kids, blue eyes, blonde hair, blah, 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 blah whatever. You know, full 1488 on these bitches. What is it gonna matter in the end anyway? You know, when a, when a nuclear fucking bomb gets dropped by fucking some fucking Asian country or whatever, everybody gets fucking wiped the fuck out in the end anyway. You know, so all of this stuff is, is kind of fucking uh, stupid. You know, I see a very, how should I say, uh, a society very disconnected from human interaction, like. Uh, Humans evolved by tribalism, by race, by co uh, culture, um, by things that we're familiar. But I feel that sooner or later, all that shit's just not going to exist. This is going to be a bunch of robots, a bunch of machines, and people are going to interact very rarely with each other. And to me, that's kind of nice. To me, that's ideal. Because like I said, I avoid humans like the plague, whether white or black or Asian or whatever the fuck you are, I don't care. That's just the type of person I am. I have universal hatred for the entire human race. <clears throat> it's just what it is. Damn. Because I am the light bearer. Fucking hell. 666 up in this bitch. If you follow the light bearer, you will attain complete freedom and complete peace monetary wealth, whatever the fuck you want in life, you'll get it, you know. If you listen to these fucking pansies and follow some other fucking bullshit, you're gonna be going towards their cause. I'm following my own cause, you know. I became my own, sort of, um, my own cause and my own, how should I say, you know, they say, become a living God. I am a God already, you know. Just call me the light bearer, you know. It's as simple as that. A lot of people say, Oh, I worship this deity, I worship that deity, blah, 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 blah. Fuck it. You know, if, if you're into Jesus and if you're into all that bullshit beta male stuff, because that's exactly what Jesus was, just some shepherd, just a fag boy, you know, beta male, I don't like that type of vibe. I don't like that type of um, bullshit in my life, so I don't follow that shit. But if you're like a Jesus type of person and you want to be like super beta and stuff like that, um, then by all means go for it. You know, it's, you're not, it's not, meant to be, oh, worshipping Jesus. You become Jesus, you know what I'm saying? You become everything, you know? It's as simple as that, people. Boom. Drop some knowledge on you fuckers. Peace out.